to the greatly optimized oblivion and shirtless man. How Thank goes you, it? Man. We are we are a character Britain, the lady, spell tool. Let me know if you can hear my voice properly. I don't want to be uh, too loud. Get over it. Going down a thing. That was Halo. Spare a coin for the infirm. So busy being a voice actor. That Arentus Falvius can summon creatures? Not your average skill for a priest, but I suppose oh. there are those who always want to learn. Uh huh. Take care. Hi there. Welcome to Bruma, stranger. 
Hafid Hollowleg. I'm your host at Gerald View. Bed, food, whatever you need. Take it quick. No, you do me too much. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. No, that's cute. You think I... Please, I'm embarrassed. No. You're good. Farewell. I'm Snar, the cook. We got genuine Skyrim cuisine. Fresh, simple, big helpings, just like Mom used to make. Oh. Oh, where'd you get that? You're pathetic. I... You win this one. Blah, blah, blah. What a bull... I... You're pathetic. I... Oh, where'd you get... Oh, that's great. <laughs> You're... All right, I get it. Be seeing you. What can I do for you? There's a most comfortable bed just downstairs. A wonderful room and nicely priced at 25 gold a night, if you're interested. Excellent. It's just downstairs there. The door is impossible to miss. I'm sure you'll sleep very well. Goodbye. How goes it? What? Good to see Have you. you ever there well met hello there I'm Logvar Hafid pays me to stand around and keep things quiet get quick uh, you please I'm embarrassed what a dumb joke what a wonderful compliment. I won't fight you. Really now, you're such a charmer. Nords who drink either get friendly or mean. I'm here to deal with the mean ones. Be seeing you.
snowy, snowy, snowy. Have pity, beautiful lady. I got nothing to eat. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. Yes? <laughs> You're revolting. I wish I could... That's not bad. Thank you, kind lady. Blessings of Stendar upon ye. Praise Akatosh. Praise the Nine. I'm Arentus Falvius, Primate of Talos, High Priest of Bruma Chapel. Yes? Good one. Yeah, I get it. I'm here to show Bruma's errant Nords the path to the true faith. They must put aside their heathen gods and worship the Nine. You too. Have mercy, just one coin. I'm so hungry. All right. You're too kind. You're full of it. Thank you, kind lady. Blessings of anew upon ye. Morning. What can I do for you today? Have a look at my... What? Sure, that... Don't be silly. Don't, please. Sure, that's... Was that supposed to be a compliment? The Countess is Heartland Nibbanean. And so are most guildsmen and chapelmen. But most others are as Nordish as you'll find. Can I interest you in some of my wares? Hmm. I think a garlic roasted bull would do nicely. I let that go too cheaply. Another satisfied customer. Good journey to you. Beautiful lady. Hello. Go inside and talk to Patrine if you want to buy a horse. I can't help you. Let's see. Farewell. Wait for a bit. 
Oh, yeah, man. We're gonna do what we did last time. Um, we've got better cities and stuff in store. Am I supposed to be impressed? I'm just not 
climbing mountain.
say everything at down there. Take a screenshot, I can't remember. Take a screenshot. Shift F eleven. a shame. Would have loved to take a screenshot here. Oh well. we have it guys there we have it that's undoubtedly the throat of the world right over there looks just like it too that's where Alduin is no one knows it no not Alduin Parthenex, that's right. That's where Parthenex is. If you were to climb from Skyrim, from Arkhaf, you'd see this come down here. So beautiful.
You have not yet followed the path required to speak with the Lord Hermaeus Mora. Go then.
flesh. You'll never take me down. I didn't contract anything. I'm pretty sure she wasn't a vampire anyway. vanilla this part. I don't know why it is here. Very interesting. No indication of what it could be. Um, it's a bit mushy rock.
Nothing dies in my world. <laughs> and I don't care. I love making everything essential. Because, you know, with all the mods and everything, uh, I just... They don't respawn farm animals, so I just go ahead and make them essential. How? How? How pretty beautiful lady. Hiding citizen. How are you? Hondatar is the name. I'm a hunter and mountain man. I'm listening. Gracious, what a hero. Sure, that's cute. A good one. That's pretty good. <laughs> Don't try to manipulate me. The deer here are skittish. Need to get them quick, or they'll lead you a merry chase. Poison on your arrows can help, and it won't hurt the meat. Don't get too many folks passing through here these days. You too. Hey, -o. Bear a coin for the infam. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Thank you, kind lady. I'm listening. Blessings have Julianos upon ye. You'll be essential. You will be essential. Everyone gets to be essential. You will help an old beggar. I help an old beggar. Girl, don't be scared. We're all friends here. Get those clothes off and come join us in the warm water. You too. Girl, don't... Be quick. I doubt it. I doubt it. I... <laughs> That's great! I doubt... <laughs> don't make... That's not bad. Bye. What is it? Will me. Wish all the chapels got an upgrade. It's only this one that gets an upgrade. Such a nice, nice revision. Beautiful. What 
what's new with you? They say syndicates of wizards. They uh, let a boycott of imperial goods in the land of the altar. It seems Somerset Isle has become a much more dangerous place. Safe travels. Farewell. Hello. What's going on with you? I have heard that Nord warriors have traveled from Skyrim with Orc Mercy. What can I do for you? Good. Don't make me. I like you. <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Don't make me lie. It's. I. That's not bad. Sometimes I just go look at the great oak. Magnificent, don't you think? Me More see fighting you. for the Nords? This is sad news. Take care. I'm the chapel healer, Gorerin Selvillo. We're glad to see you paying your respects here at the chapel. So? Sorry, I don't get it. You're a big, fat l Blah, blah, blah. That's, that's not bad. In Coral, we Highlanders treat our God's teachings as rules to live by. Our lives are governed by the Ten Commands. Goodbye. I'm Otius Loren, Primate of Stendar. You stand before God's servant in the House of the Nine. Be humble and show respect. All right? <laughs> How nice. I like... Ha! You're too kind. Farewell. Blessings. I'm Orig Grabargal, servant of Stendar. May you grow in the faith. What you're going to say? I... Yes, yes. D I doubt it. I doubt it. I d Whatever you want. No, I doubt. I see. Have you heard? Someone from the Archaeology Guild is currently renting a room at the Twin Goblet Ale House. I wonder what they're doing here. Be seeing ya. What is it? Well, hello there. What brings you to the Twin Goblet Ale House? Get quick. <laughs> Gracious, what a hero. <laughs> That's pretty good. Such adventures. How no. <laughs> oh, please. No. <laughs> you can't scare me. No. That's just talk. No. <laughs> you can't scare me. <laughs> good one. <laughs> That's pretty good. She has only been here a couple of weeks, but we often have archaeology guild members staying with us.
Go on upstairs if you want to talk with her. These bookworms need the occasional distraction. Bye. I think you have the wrong room. At least I hope you have the wrong room. You look quite capable of violence. Oh, never mind. I need a break from studying anyway. Hey, you look the adventurous type. I am a member of the Archaeology Guild, and there is a cavern beneath Coral which the Guild wishes to explore beyond a silver gate. The Guild plans to send an expedition down to investigate what might be beyond the gate. It should be quite exciting. But, well, when exploring ancient chambers and caverns untouched by civilized people for centuries, there are many possible risks. So the expedition is on hold for now. Perhaps you could help? Yes. I like that. I see. If you could explore the area beyond the gate, make sure it's safe. Then we'll know it's okay to send our expedition in to see what we can find. What do you say? I can provide you with a magic scroll to get past the Silver Gate. Oh, good. I just knew when we started talking about the Silver Gate that you would be interested in helping. Here's the magic scroll. When you're fairly close to the gate, simply cast the spell and you should be able to see the switch to unlock it. The guild hid the switch to protect careless adventurers from danger. I'm sure you're not careless, though. Take this key as well. There's a shortcut to get down to the Silver Gate through the old Coral Cistern. The entrance is just south and slightly east of Coral's southern entrance. Bye! That's the one, Daddy. I'll take care of this. Go home, Elaine. You. Yes, you in front of the alehouse. You have some serious explaining to do. Yes, you, you bastard. You'll pay for what your brother did to my daughter, Elaine. You saw her just then. She's with child because of your brother. And now you're going to provide for her and the unborn child. Don't try to lie your way out of this. Elaine just identified you as his sister. If you don't commit to providing for her and the child, I'll call the guards and have them arrest you. I'll think of a crime which will have you executed within a week. Ha! Huh? You continue to lie then, do you? Trying to find an excuse not to take responsibility for your brother's actions? Very well. I'm a fair man. I'll give you a chance. But eventually you'll have to admit the truth and provide regular payments for Elaine throughout the child's life. A girl in Coral named Elaine something approached me with her parents and claimed I am the sister of the father of her unborn child. I must prove that I have no connection to Elaine's present condition, otherwise her parents will force me to compensate them in recompense for my brother's actions. I need to speak with Elaine private, and I really ought to do this right away, before helping Verona. I'm only asking for a single coin.
Go take your break. Good. I'm now go ahead I'm listening may I help you oh hello I'm sorry I was afraid I don't tell my father the truth please can't you help well perhaps you could find the man the man who well who caused this Execution? Yes, I suppose my father could find a way to have the guards execute you. He'd be able to persuade them of a serious enough crime. It has been around six months since I last saw him, as my situation shows. He went to speak with a woman wearing a red robe, staying at the Twin Goblet Alehouse. That's why we were there just now. My father was going to see if this woman in the red robe was still there. When I saw you coming out, I just spoke without thinking. Farewell. What can I do for you? No, I only arrived here about a week ago. Why do you ask? I see. How melodramatic. I used to read books with such stories when I was young. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm being insensitive. Well, as I said, I only arrived about a week ago. I think Sova may have visited Coral for a time five or six months ago. You already told me all of this. There's no need to repeat yourself. She is a fellow guild member. Perhaps she employed this adventurer Elaine became acquainted with to try to explore beyond that silver gate we spoke of. Bye.
Have you seen the Briants and their dogs? I've seen them. Everyone likes a good dog. May the wind be on your, your back. What is it? An honor to serve you. I'm Imfrid, owner and publican of the Grey Mare at your service. A room or food, whatever you wish. I have a room ready if you need it for the night. It'll be ten gold. Interested? The room's yours for the night. It's just upstairs, the first door on the left. Sleep well. You too. Hello.
How are you? Not bad. I think Rena Bruyant may actually love dogs more than her husband. Strange couple, those two. I've never been a huge dog lover myself, but some people really love them. Goodbye. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. I love being vamps. Now I think I can get the um, dungeon. I don't even bloody see. Thank <laughs> you. 
You won't get any of my blood. Get away from me! Very good, you have unlocked the Silver Gate. This really is most exciting. I shall start to put together a camp in the next chamber, in anticipation of the Guild's expedition party. Once you've confirmed it's all safe, of course. This certainly is not what I was expecting. I think I'll just remain right here. Do let me know how you get on. Goodbye.
Sister, sister, I should write to tell you that I won't be wanting to see you again. We had fun together, you and me, but I'm going to be a famous adventurer one day, and I can't be getting tied down <laughs> with some girl I met in a shop in Coral. When I'm famous, the girls will come walking, and I'll have to pit the pig of the most beautiful woman women around. I know you'll understand. Maybe some farmer will take an interest in you sometime and you can tell them all, all about how you knew me before I was famous. Wow. Now that's toxic masculinity. <laughs> What can I do for you? Let's see. Oh, this all reminds me of the book From Rags to Riches, To Pauper's Grave by Isabeau Richlau. I loved her books when I was young. The heroine falls for a handsome young man who disappears after a swift romance. She goes searching for him, following a trail of his adventures as he gains a powerful position working for a royal family. But eventually she finds a note much like this one written to her but never sent. She returns home heartbroken and never learns that he didn't send the note because he changed his mind and was heading back to her village to tell her. Needless to say, he is attacked by highwaymen on the road and left for dead in a ditch and so ends the book. I think there might be a sequel, but I never found a copy. Yes, all right, as long as you're sure these ghosts aren't a threat, Certainly. Farewell. What can I do for you? It's a good thing the gas trap has run out of gas, else we might have been killed ourselves. All right, I have now seen these two dead adventurers. I can tell Lucian Brewcomb that you speak the truth when you return to him. I will meet you there.
guys, I gotta go. He be right back. What do you want? Farewell. How do you get in here? Oh.
What? You too. Annoying creature. How are you today? Good day. Well met. Morning. How are you? Hi there. What? I see. It would seem that I owe you an apology then. I'm sorry, I never imagined that Elaine would falsely accuse anybody. But now, if he's dead, Elaine will have to raise the child on her own. It will be difficult, but we have some money. I think we can afford it. Please, let Elaine know your findings. She's upstairs. What? Really? Even after everything I put you through? Incredible. Yes, thank you. I will gladly accept your offer. This will ensure the child has a comfortable life. He'd written to Elaine? Perhaps you should let her have it as a memory of their time together. Oh, may I? Yes, I see. Thank you. I shall get rid of this. Elaine should never have a chance to see what this despicable man was really like. Good day. Well, I'm glad we've been able to help this family. Perhaps one day someone will write a book about this tale. Do let Elaine know too, if you haven't already. Now I really must return to the cavern. Hopefully my assistants have arrived while we've been away. I left them a note to have the dead adventurers brought up to the surface for proper burials. I'll see you down there again when you're ready. Oh, hello. Oh dear, he promised me he'd return as soon as he could. At least now I know what happened, that he was prevented from returning. It was not through choice. Well, thank you for helping me. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a bit. Well met. Hello. Yes. A coin. What an old. something. 
want to do a quest for yeah, that dude. Sons. Have pity. Have pity. Have pity. My sons. Have you seen my sons? Go ahead. Gracious. What a hero. Such adventures. How I envy you. That's amazing. Good. All right. I get it. Yes. Rallis and Antis. They're going to fight off the creatures at our farm, but I fear for their safety. For the last few days, we've suffered attacks from these creatures at our farm not far from Coral. They're coming from some place in the Great Forest. I don't know where, but Rallis may know more by now. My boys will take up the fight, even if the guards won't. Doesn't matter if it's outside the town walls, it still affects us all. They expect me to go with them, but I... I fear in my old age I'm not the warrior I once was. Would you... Would you go in my place? Somehow, I knew you'd do the right thing. I'm supposed to meet them at Wayne and Priory. You'd best get whatever supplies you need now, so you can get there in time. I... I need a drink to calm my nerves. Please, excuse me. Antis, calm down. We'll be leaving soon enough. I just can't wait. This is going to be the greatest fight ever! This is no joke, Antis, and it's nothing to be excited about. If you don't want to be doing this, then why are you even here? Father and I can handle this. I'm here because even though I'm afraid, I know that we have to do this. Father would feel the same way. Father's not scared. Don't you dare say that. You'll see when he gets here. I'll ask him, and then you'll see. I'm afraid I have no time for small talk, Fred. I'm waiting for my father, Valis Odil. Have you seen him in town by any chance? All right. I wish I could say that. What nonsense. They began raiding our farm a few days ago. There are more now, and I have no idea where they're coming from. It's our duty to protect our own, even if others will do nothing. Father taught us that much, and we won't back down from a fight. The guards claim there's no evidence of them, so they won't lift a finger. That's why we have to be the ones to deal with them. He's not coming with us? I think I understand, and it is better that he remains safe. Though I wonder why he has asked you to take his place. You would join us, though you have no personal stake in this fight? Hm, an honorable deed. I gladly accept your help, then. There's no point in waiting here any longer. Follow me.
We will spill their blood. In the name of our father. How do you do? Stay focused. Watch your backs and be careful. Antis, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go! Defend yourselves. Here they come!
We beat them! We slaughtered them all! Did you see? Did you see how well I fought? Let's go see my father, and let him know of our victory! That was bloody hard. Hello.
Morning. You're back, and you've brought my sons with you. How wonderful! Foul things. They deserve the death you brought them. Right? Thank you. How kind. My boys are safe. Oh, thank you. Thanks so much for sticking with them and helping a foolish old man. Please, take this. I won't be needing it any longer. My battles are over. I plan to live out my days on the farm in peace and quiet. Take care. If I've told you once, I've told you a thousand times, I've never been to Shainal. I... Oh, hang on, you're someone else. Apologies, my good friend, I mistook you for someone else. Always being asked about it, I am. Didn't I see you in Shainal, they say? But well, I'm sick of it. Sick and tired, tired and sick, and perhaps a little drunk. But never mind. You look like the honest sort, so I've got a job for you. You're going to travel to Shane Hall and find out what sort of imposter is trying to besmirch my good name. And you're going to tell him... <coughs> you're going to tell him I'm quite capable of besmirching my good name on my own. You should cease and desist immediately. There's 50 gold pieces in it for you, friend. Right then. Off you go. What? Hi there. What is it now? Well, ain't you the high Tom Titty? You want something, I guess, or you wouldn't be messing up my air. Make it quick. Yeah, I... Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. Please, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> no. Sure, that's cute. <laughs> that's... <laughs> no. You're full of it. <laughs> yeah. Really now, you're such a charmer. <laughs> no. You're wasting your breath. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad at all. You yeah, I get it. You're wasting your breath. No, you're wasting your breath. Yeah, I used to be Fighters Guild here in Coral, but I done some incarceration for trespassing and theft. Couple of times. You know they kick you out of the Guild if you get caught doing some incarceration. How many? I forget. But I did a lot. Be seeing you. Go ahead. Oh, hello. I heard there's a new shipment of weapons at Fire and Steel. Have you been recently? I was in there just a few days ago. Rashida's prices are very reasonable. Good day. What is it now? Hello. I'm Castor Scribonia, the writer, author of Woman Gone Wild. <laughs> Who is the fairest of them all, other than myself? The proprietor of the Grey Mare is lovely. She and the guard captain would be a nice couple. Bye. What do you want? Take care.
Yes, sir, Kyle. This is live. Welcome to Better Cities Corridor. Oh, Hello, hiding citizen. I'm your relief. Good. I'm hungry. I'm your relief. Another day, another septum. Any time now. What is it? That's right, Kyle. Only about three voice actors were used for this entire game. Well, not three, but there was very little. I think about nine in total. They're hilarious. What? I hope it's comfortable enough for you. Bye. An honor. All right. Don't waste your flattery on me. That works for me. Be seeing you.
you seek my help? Do you ever spend time in the Oaken Crozier? Certainly I've spent time there. Talisma runs a good, quiet inn. Heard any news from the other provinces? Nothing I'd like to talk about. Uh-huh. What's the news from the other parts of Tamriel? They say syndicates of wizards have led a boycott of imperial goods in the land of the Ultima. It seems Somerset Isle has become a much more dangerous place. Safe travels. Good day. <laughs> yeah, I'm a grandpa. You got allergies to vampires, do you? when that happens. I hate getting a sore throat. It's annoying.
<laughs> you got stupid drunk, eh? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you too.
<laughs> it certainly is, Carl. It certainly is. Oh, I love it. Oh, I absolutely love it. How goes it? Bloody thing, man. Oh, the cobra, not the cobra, the young. I'm going to fix my gear. <laughs> oh, this is lovely. Look at this. So cool. I'm only asking for a single coin. There's the potion shop.
Imperial watch off duty. It's you. Hi. Blessed. Blessed are you who have come to me for guidance in these dark times. For you, and you alone, have had the courage to accept the love of the divines into your heart. For that alone shall be your salvation. Rise, rise up, my child. For today you have been saved. Saved from the terrible fate of all those who shun themselves from the light of the righteousness. The nine divines smile upon those who would walk the path of justice and good. And today, you have just taken your first step down this path, this holy path of blinding light. Leave. Leave if you must. But if you leave, you are not leaving only myself, but your destiny, your fate, even the nine divines themselves. If you leave this day, you leave behind this chance for redemption. The path you take now is the path that will lead to your place of resting for eternity. Only oblivion awaits for you. Only through the Divine's teachings can you be saved. Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Nice. Wait, what scroll did you Only sell? quality goods for sale. Take care. Nice. We've got boob jackets. Lovely. You have my ear, citizen. Is that it? Nah, that's a closed place. Ah, here it is. So that's right there. Do you want something from me? Did you hear what happened to Ruslan and Laurent? How One are you today? Fleeced them for all their coin. Spare a coin for the infirm. What is it? Well met. I'm only asking for a single coin. I've given you too many coins. Interesting. Go on. It has no master. What is it? 
Hello and welcome to my little cafe down here in the tunnel. Find a seat and I'll get you a nice hot cup of my sweet tea. Say. No, you do me too much honour. You're pathetic. That's enough. That's just not funny. I most certainly do. I have the tea leaves shipped in from the Somerset Isles, and I brew it here, right in the cafe, using fresh spring water. Now, if you'd like, you can drink your tea plain, or you can have it with some fresh sheep's milk or some light cream I whipped up just this morning. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Bye. It's so lovely. Who will help an old beggar? Good to see you. Go ahead, please. Ed? I like that a lot. I like. All right, I get it. Bye. Well met. If you'll excuse me, I don't have. Have time for you right now or ever. Oh, hello there. I do hope you haven't come to get your equipment repaired because you'll be quite disappointed. Oh, so nice all of a sudden. I retired from my business several months ago. For quite a few years, I've had a steady flow of work, but now it's become too hard to compete with the smiths in the city. Plus, I'm not exactly getting any younger. It was about time I passed the torch to the younger generation and start enjoying the time I have left in this world. So? You've got a point. Such adventure. I can't argue with that. I can't argue with that. I won't fight you. Sorry. You think that's... I, ca I see. Goodbye. Hi there. A pretty beautiful lady. A coin for an old beggar. Mercy, just one point. Here Good morning. Good morning, my friend. Meeting you here. Go ahead, please. Oh. Oh. Oh, I like that. It, oh, not now. Not late. Don't waste your flattery on me. Oh, I like that. I'll... It... Don't... You're good. Only quality... You gotta be... You gotta be kidding. I don't have enough gold. Shit. Come back and see me again. Take care. Yes? What can I interest you in? You got a great deal there. Thanks for your business. Take care. Greetings. Go ahead, please. Ed. 
Take care. Speak. The Imperial Legion is at your disposal, citizen. What seems to be the problem? All right. No more. You think that's... F I wish I could say... What a I see. Strange that you should ask. I was told to distribute these notes this morning. Here, have one. Oh. Hello. What? What? Oh. You goodness. No. Oh, please, good. Get away from me. What? Rem you can't scare. No. Well done. You're good. May I interest you in some of my fine wares? What can I sell here? Uh, that. That's just. Yeah, that's not reasonable. You need to. Maybe she can take that. You've got a great. Freaking hates me. <laughs> a fine transaction. That seems a fair price. Thank you for your business. You too. Good. Yes. Have a look at my wares. Tell your friends about me. Take care. Yummy. Is 
isn't it tasty? Drink I think I'll end it here, guys. This has been fun. It's easy to understand. It's arcane arts, Kyle. Arcane arts. <laughs> I don't know, it's fantasy, who cares? <laughs> Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. This was very fun. I'm really enjoying this character. Um, I'll see you guys next time, which won't be very, hopefully it won't be, uh, uh,